Alright guys, here's another video that was requested and I'm finally getting around to making it. You see in my last video was a Pose Twin. This is a uh, V-Twin. This is a 20 horsepower V-Twin Model 40. But there are several different uh, uh, engine horsepower ratings that are very similar to this, if not the same. Because this carburetor was used on a bunch of these V-Twins. And uh, this is the type of carburetor it's on it. As you can see this is the exact same thing and uh, this is it's a, it is a double barrel carburetor basically two carburetors in one for this type of application this is missing the fuel solenoid this is your throttle plates and on the other side it's your choke plates okay so we'll talk about the choke first like I did in the last video and it's actually really simple this little plate here is built in to the uh, plastic on this, if you take the carburetor off with the the manifold with it, uh, all this this linkage right here will come off with it. And this is where your uh, choke cable hooks. It hooks into here. That's what works your choke. And on the opposite side of the choke is your uh, throttle linkage. And there's a good shot of it where it hooks on the uh, carburetor. And right here is the other carburetor. See your linkage will hook uh, right into this hole right here. And it curves down. Hooks into the governor arm. I worked on one of these a couple months ago and this linkage was bent and it was rubbing up against the plastic there causing the throttle to stick. So that's uh, one thing you got to look for. And as you can see I got clearance on this one. There's no problem on this one. And your governor arm is attached to this right here. You got two governor springs on this. The small one right here is your idle govern speed, which uh, your idle speed's adjustable by bending this tab right here to bend it that way to idle lower and bend it out to get more tension to idle higher. And the other big spring right there is the main governor spring. It hooks into a uh, slot on the governor arm here. That long slot right there is where the spring hooks. And the other end hooks on this uh, tab that uh, turns with your uh, throttle control. It's hard to show this. If I take it apart, then you wouldn't know where everything was at. But there's about the best shot I can give of how the governor spring is hooked on this. And you notice there's no tension on it. Well, if you uh, if you hold it wide open, then you get the spring tension on it. This is just for reference. It don't have nothing to do with the linkages, but this is what the uh, governor looks like. It's inside the engine. It would sit about right here in the engine. This is your governor weighted sling out. This is from the same engine that this came off of, and uh, that was one of the problems on it. There's something wrong with this. It don't look like there's anything wrong with it, but for some reason it didn't want to work on that motor. And we'll put a new one in it. And <laughs> there's the part number for it, just in case it happens to be what you need. And it's about a 15 or 20 dollar part, if I remember correctly. You can get this carburetor and aftermarket one for around 40 to 50 dollars on eBay. And uh, and again, like. All the other small engines, you adjust your governor by this, and I have videos on how to do that. Not on this particular engine, but it's the same on 99% of small engines with a mechanical governor. And uh, so, yeah, it, uh, it basically sums up all the linkages on this uh, engine. Like I said, it's a super simple choke. And uh, I have other videos on. Uh, single cylinder flathead and overhead valve engines and uh, I just want to make a video on the two uh, twin cylinders I have the opposed twin and this V twin so if you got any questions or comments about uh, governor throttle linkages and choke linkages on any of these small engines uh, give me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one